I think you're at the back of the lawnmower off the trailer to change the uh, blades on it. And I've been doing a cold start. Like I said, I ain't, you know, the guy loaded up this morning, but I I have not crunk it up yet. And we finna see how, how it is when I crank it up. Do it like basically like a cold start on the Snapper Pro. Like I said, that was the cold start, cranking it up, and yeah, I did pretty good. Jack out. I got two and a half, two and a half ton jet, black jet. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna raise my deck up all the way I can right now. It's on six. I'm gonna raise it all the way up to seven, the highest it can go. That's seven. As it can go. Got my brakes up. Got everything out. Put the jacket up, button that jacket up. Got the jacket up, button now. And like I say, it was laying flat, so I couldn't, I couldn't put it up, but that's so why I had to, had to pick my dick up. Pick my dick up and then get it up by now. So I'm gonna jack it up.
got it all jacked up. And uh, this is the way it look up on the bottom of it. Blades are sharp. Like a noob. See my dick clean up on the bottom of it. Like I said last year, I did pretty much did all this before the uh it went out on me. You know, but definitely need some more blade. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my uh like I said in my uh two and a half jack and get my my stand to put up under it because I want this dirt to fall on me. So I thick my grass here. That's why I'm putting new blades on. Okay, ain't no way them blades right there gonna cut cut through this. You know, it ain't grass, weeds. Weeds. So I'm going to my little my little building here to get get my thing out. That'll cover him a two horse. And I got my uh, impact wrench. Need that. Uh, you trying to be careful because I ain't, I ain't been in this the building in a while. I want to make sure no snakes and stuff ain't in here. So I got my jack stand, and I got my impact wrench, and that's a master craft impact wrench. Got my cord already laid out to be able to take this off. Like I said, you gotta be safe when you're doing this. Yeah, him by yourself like that. What I'm doing now, I got my impact range right here. And I got it, I got this jacked up. I got this uh jacked up as far as I can get it. Pretty much as far as I can get it. And what I'm doing now, I uh See my, right now, I see my jacket's in the, at, on the ground. Let me turn it around. Right now, right now, I see how my jet, my uh, impact range is. All the way to the top. So when I got, got rid of unloosing it, and what he did, he picked the lawnmower, picked this up, and uh, I don't have no clearance to uh, take the boat off. So I got my jack, jacked up four as it can go. And I got my, uh, what's it called? Make sure I don't slip and fall. And uh, what I had to do, I got to put the impact right up under here. And what it do, I'm, I'm losing it and then it bring the force go up. So what I what I I'm just right now I'm just gonna loosen the boat with it and I can I already did this on take it out with my hand just like these over here I'm gonna use the impact wrench you'll see what I'm talking about when I when I do one I think on the other side now and do this and you'll see what I'm talking about how I jack the lawnmower up I don't have no clearance and when I get no clearance I just uh, go back forward tighten it up. And just lead the pressure off of it. Back again, guys. Got a new setup. See my jack. That's how it's gonna go. And uh, like I said, I got my my old tie, tying the rim, and I got my uh, jack stands. And uh, this is what I was talking about.
We're gonna turn out, see how it hit wedge right there. And like I said, it hit, the, the high gonna go to uh, to relieve the uh, to relieve the pressure off that. And what I had to do, I had to just put it up on there like this, and I untighten it just to break the bolts off of it. Then after I break the bolt, I gonna be in the jam kite close to the ground. And I just tighten it back up, just snug a little bit, then I, gonna, then I can take it down. But you finna see what I'm talking about. I finna do it now. Finna do it now. Finna, finna loosen it now. I got enough clearance to get it off. It, like I said, do you remember how the blades are? The way you the way you take them down, the same way you put them back up. I'm gonna show you now. So I take them down. Got the bolt right here. It's the way this is the way it coming down. And what I do, I lay it, up, lay it flat on the ground. Then I take my other blade and put it right beside it. Now you're going to see what I'm talking about right here. So I lay it side by side. Side coming down. Man, they can't give me the wrong blades. Got to, might have know. The wrong blades. This ain't the right blades. Oh. Guys, I gotta go right back over here and change the blades. He gave me the wrong blade. What I mean by that? You see, I'm gonna put this on top. You see how they look? The difference. You see how off up top? Way off. All right, Bob. I gotta come, go to the shop, go back to the parts store, and get the, get the right blade. See y'all. Like I said, back back from the parts though. And these are the right blades. The hole matching up. The width of it matching up. And uh, this is the way it came off. Just like this right here. So when I get ready to put these back up, it goes up on the, up top like that right there. Because this right here. You can tell because this is where him with the um see it can't go like that. It gotta go up like this where that where that black part was at. That that big uh wash. And you'll see when I put it back up right now. And it's like I said, this my setup. I forgot to tell you, did the uh, soccer wrench. I'm using that for these bolts. Uh, what did I see? That's a 15 by 16. That what I'm using on these bolts. On these nuts. And uh, the way I'm telling me. And they, 
And also, like I said, you can tell by the number on the blade. Like I said, I think you're ready to put it up top now. Just do right, and I'm gonna put the towel on it. Ease that wolf. I'm gonna go to the other one, the middle one. I said I already unloosened this one anyway, so it should come on down. Jack it down to move my tie out the way. Thank <laughs> you. 
That book right here script that that's why I bought a new one. Uh, that's why I bought this one. Let me see if I got something to fit off. That ain't gonna work. Oh. None of these, none of these, but them these sockets ain't gonna work because it's, it's scripted out too bad. So what I'm gonna do, I might have put a pipe wrench on it, and I might go up top and uh, take the cover off of it to um, to get it done. Let's get to it. Yeah, I'm gonna do the old school way right here. The old school way. That's a 15, 16. Uh, socket. And I got a, a pipe wrench to hold the boat up on the bottom of it. Put it right there. And I might turn it up top with my hand. They, they break it. Let's do it. Thank you. 
Right over here. Finally got that on tight. Should be wearing gloves. But I'm about through now. The new boat on her, new net. Thank you. 
What's up, guys? We're in some problem with the lawnmower. Uh, putting the blades on. And uh, I got all on on ship uh, one. What happened is that, you know, he wore down so bad. Wore down so bad, like the boat light right here. I'm trying to think you see it. Boat like this right here. And the water, I'm going to show you the old one. What I'm talking about. It did one. The water down so bad. And what happened at the end of the boat, the boat head, it's um, the thread messed up on it. So I'm going to go to um, this uh, maybe BND or Twin City to find something that I can be to rethread that boat at the end on that shell. So I'm just going through all the stuff that's going to happen when you change the blades out. Like I said, this ain't never happened happen to me before. I'm just letting y'all know that the problem come up, you're going to have to try to, you know, get it fixed or uh, uh, find somebody who can fix it for you. So I'm going out here and try to buy this, uh, rethread it, uh, we, we thread this uh this boat at the end and try to put this new boat new boat on right here. I just bought this boat called four dollars. So let me go to the park store now and, and find something to rethread that boat. And I get back with you. Like I said this right here in the boat that that script died out. Can turn it. And uh, my new boat. Eh? And uh, this what happened. I'm trying to get a good look at it. When I try to put the uh, nut on there, see it won't. Sorry, hit leaning. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna go on there. Before it letting go right here leaning down going down take it off and with the three see right now go around again and that was messed up at right now I said, I've been going out here to the park store so I can find me something to rethread that. Let me. Back from the all, excuse me, back from the park store. This is my cutter. It's a 5 8 cutter. And uh, that's what I'm going to do cut that, um, cut them thread bite. And uh, he told me, yeah. Told me use them all. Putting the oil on it. Then put some on the. Like I said, this right here, my cutter.
Ryan said it wasn't that bad. See the nut screw up there. There it is. Like guys, you know, that gonna happen when you let your let your um let your boat get so bad. Let me see if I can find that boat. When you let your uh your nut get this bad water down and that make this right here wet down too and be hard to get out. That's why we messed up on the end of it. So you gotta get like a cutter to be able to cut it. Can't get this uh this is a five eight cutter. Let me see the, the new blade will go on there now. Like I said, that cutter called me around about $11 for that cutter from the parts store, B and D. Dip the boat back in all the lubricator all again.
So I'm gonna go. Got them all on there. But. Uh, let you look at all the new blades I got up on there. Got all the blades on there. One, two, three blade. And like I said, I had a little problem with that, but I went through the video to show you how to do the work around and get it done, get it back fixed. And uh, this your boy, Jerry Parker, working on the Snapper Pro 19. 19 power Kawasaki engine zero turn and we'll see you next time this is how you put blades on the zero turn snapper pro but like I said at the end of this on the right hand side of this video they got a notification bell let you know I'm gonna upload the video to YouTube and hit and please like and subscribe to this channel Thank you. See you next time.